Good afternoon. It's the northwest of Wales that's top of the table weather-wise today with beautiful blue skies overhead for this weather watcher. Good afternoon. We've seen plenty of sunshine once again. First thing this morning, we had blue sky you can see down in Surrey, but the cloud, like yesterday, is gradually starting to build back in and we'll see more cloud through the afternoon. Well, I don't know about you, but it's certainly not outdoor swimming weather yet, despite the uh, uh, bits of warmth we've got. But the pelicans look pretty keen. Now, as we go through to tomorrow, there will hopefully again be some uh, nice warmth in the sunshine. But we have got cloud around uh, and possibly a shower here or there, but most of us staying dry. So Friday looks more unsettled, but it is picking up into the weekend. That's the weather. Here's the pollen. Now, most people with uh, hay fever are allergic to grass pollen. Because the season's just getting going, the levels are pretty low at the moment, but there is still moderate to high levels of oak pollen. That's it from me here. By the Thames, cheerio. And you've got more on those floods in Italy. Yeah, that's right, Sophie. The uh, rains that we've seen in Italy, yet another example of our changing climate. And there's been six months worth of rain in just a couple of weeks. The latest rain coming from this cloud uh, wrapped around storm Minerva. That has now weakened. The rain has eased off, but there's more heavy rain to come potentially as we head into the weekend. 18 degrees will be very pleasant in the central belt. 16 or 17 towards the southeast where we've got those showers. The weekend looking quite promising. For many places it will be dry. There'll be some warm spells of sunshine. More cloud in the north, maybe a little rain into northern Scotland. Sophie. Thanks very much. Good evening. It's been very quiet this week, hasn't it? In contrast to all the rain that we had uh, last week. And today we had essentially more of the same lovely picture from one of our weather watchers from Harrow on the Hill with some sunshine around. And tomorrow we're also going to have some sunshine at times. But tomorrow we've actually got the chance of the odd shower cropping up, especially into the afternoon. We heard about the warnings of rising temperatures and record heat likely in the years ahead. Well, that came from the World Meteorological Organization. And Alex is at the UK's own Met Office in Exeter tonight. And uh, Alex, they've been assessing the possible impact of this information, haven't they? That's right, Mary. In fact, it was the Met Office that carried out the report on behalf of the WMO. And quite frankly, the conclusion is not good news. There's now a 98% prediction that the globe will see its warmest year on record within the next five years and a two in three chance that global average temperatures will exceed 1.5 Celsius above pre-industrial times. And that would have a noticeable impact on our climate and the weather. Well, earlier today, I was inside the Met Office and I sat down with Professor Adam Scaife, who contributed to the report. How worried are you about the 98% figure saying that in the next five years we're probably going to have our, our warmest global year on record? I mean, worrying is a very personal thing, but in terms of the science, it's very stark statistic. 98%, um, very high level of confidence. It tallies very much with the global changes that we're seeing, the global temperature increasing. How will all of this affect us here in the UK? I think one of the biggest risks for the UK from climate change, and it's the same as we see in this report for the next five years, is winter rainfall. We know that um, through a combination of computer modelling and historical observations, that things like extreme rainfall in the winter and in summer actually, but particularly in the winter, um, prolonged extreme rainfall is increasing. Well, a pretty stark warning there. The good news is that there is no sign of any heavy rainfall in the next few days. Well, over the next few days, we are going to see slightly cloudier conditions across uh, northern parts of the UK with the possibility of a few showers, some outbreaks of rain, but nothing particularly heavy with drier conditions further south. And when the sun does come out, it will be feeling on the warmer side. Well, that's the way it is looking here in Exeter this evening. For now, though, it is back to you in the studio, Mary.